So then we have this next verse. It says, And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. Now this is an interesting line to me. Um, there's the obvious meaning. We'll cover the obvious meaning first. And I'm also going to kind of cover what I think is maybe a secondary possible meaning. Now the obvious one here is, See that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. So the obvious meaning is we should not follow anyone who claims to be Jesus, who is not. Uh, verse 24 warns us that false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So in the last days, this Antichrist will be able to do all sorts of neat, miraculous signs. This brings me to another, the second interpretation I was talking about. When Jesus warns, see that no man leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying I'm the Christ, and they will lead many astray. So no doubt we have to be aware of those who claim to be Christ, but I think there's a possible second explanation that you also have to be wary of those who come in his name, meaning who come in his authority, ordained preachers, who yes, they say he is the Christ, but nonetheless, they still lead many astray. You gotta remember the quotation marks did not appear in the Greek. They don't even appear in the King James. The quotation marks are guesses from the translators. They think they put them in where they're, they're appropriate, but they don't appear in the original. Um, so it's a secondary possibility. You also have in verse 24, Jesus doesn't only warn us against false Christ, he warns us against false prophets. So that would fit my secondary explanation there. And that's who you have with these rapture. 